Hey there, Design Squad, welcome back. And in this week's Design Tool Tuesday, I'm gonna talk to you about UI wireframe kit from Semplis Labs. Semplis is a CMS for creatives and portfolios, which I might revisit at some point in the future in Design Tool Tuesdays or actual UX portfolio or UI portfolio. But for now, let's revisit one of their products, which is basically a wireframe kit for Figma and Sketch, which has a lot of different predefined components, a simple UI design system throughout it. And what we say is that it's, you know, the last kit you'll ever need for wireframes and all that jazz because it has so many different components. It's really easy to craft, let's say, websites or majority of web apps or products which would require a lot of, let's say, UI work or you just need to kind of quickly ideate and put things together out of existing blocks and components. And so that's the best bet. Personally, I gave this kit a go. I purchased it instantaneously because I was in a need for it. And with my team, we worked already on a couple of projects where we actually adapted this to easily prototype mock-up you know different interfaces one was for e-commerce another was for more of a data visualization which we had to tweak and customize to go forward because this is to be honest quite a simple thing you know it covers most of the patterns but it doesn't it's not going to cover you know any extensive apps or any crazy ideas you might have uh, taken from other or you know raw inputs per se so if you have something crazy you would still would need to like modify it but it's always easier to start somewhere if it's already the fine and then redesign it and remark it if you know what I mean. Once you downloaded this kit, you're gonna have two options. One is for Figma, another for Sketch. And to be entirely honest, what I loved about it was that it's structured pretty neatly. And to me, you know, well-structured things are what makes things just generally expected and pleasant. That's what makes experience for me as a designer pretty damn good when I'm actually welcomed in a thing. And as you can see, the designers here who created it provides with some sort of explanation of what it is. Cheat sheet where you can actually explore exactly which elements are covered. These are the elements, these are the components, these are the blocks. And so this is sort of like very primitive design system which you could kind of map out to atomic design in a way. But, you know, that's another discussion for another day. But as you can see, if I go through, it kind of scales. So we define colors, we define typography, we define basic UI elements. And there is a lot of it. So let's say it's buttons, input fields, a lot of different states like error, subscription, search, tags, pagination, checkboxes, radio buttons the basics which you would want and then a bit more advanced UI elements like toggles, tooltips, loading bars, error messages, progress indicators, ratings, dividers even, placeholders, native components, I guess for iOS, Android. I would call this atoms and molecules for, you know, typical design systems. But the idea is that, you know, if you go forward and so like, you know, components, we're going to have their structured by the type of a thing or, um, you know, the purpose. So we have navigation elements, a lot of different bits. We have footer elements, sliders, players, listicles, list components, accordions, tabulations. So there's a whole plethora of different bits here. As you can see, I could just go ahead, even chatbot examples, infographics, logo, wall. There's a lot of different bits here. And if you go to blocks, there is even more. As you can see, it's a whole multitude of different elements and implementation patterns. So let's see if this is the type of bit you want. You could either copy it into a new document, uh, which I did, for example, because I was in such a hurry. I didn't want to respect the design system, which is in this sketch file. I just had to recreate really quickly. Then you might just want to copy the elements, uh, detach from the actual library and then hack it. It's up to you because you have a freedom if you purchase this kit, which is also for a symbolic value. To me, it was no brainer because it's if it's 20 bucks and I know that I'm going to use it for multiple projects and it covers most of my needs. It's why the hell not? And to be honest, it already paid off 20 times. So if this actually matches your need, do invest, give them feedback as well, because as you can see, there is a lot, but I know as well from my personal experience that they could go even deeper because this is, this is really good for, let's say, commerce sites, basic web apps maybe, 
But when it comes to, let's say, data visualization, something to do with AI, machine learning, something what I'm busy with, which is very big data heavy type of interfaces or more like a human centered, very complex scenarios which have to be answered or mocked up, you would then want something more out of it or you would have to do it on your own, as I mentioned before. It really depends what you're after. But I think for most people, for most designers, this is pretty good. And so just to demonstrate what I mean by design system here, as you can see, the layout is pretty simple. You could just copy the product page and just re readjust it. So let's say here I have this placeholder. I could just choose a different placeholder like an image and then it automatically just replaces it for me. Or I could just choose a different color for a button as long as I have defined it. And then it's really easy to just readjust and, and switch different bits around because you have that flexibility. Let's say if I would define a new color, I'm just gonna go ahead and just say add a new shade. I like that by default with this UI wireframe kit is very flat. And let's say if I would take this type of baby blue, let's say, and I would add a new style, uh, create new layer style, let's say colors blue. It's a bit crazy when you look at it. But then if I would want to then define these bits across, I could just go ahead and just make this bottom blue. Then I can just go ahead, let's say into one of the blocks or, or one of the components. And I can, you know, go select the button itself. But then I also can select the color of a button really easily and quickly. So let's say I just define blue and then I just do that. And so you have that carryover capability. Again, it's quite a simple design system. You need to kind of like start playing with it to understand exactly what you can do with it, what you can do with it. Quite like it because it gives me the flexibility to just then hack it. And again, if I have an issue and I need to mock up something within, let's say, hours or a couple of days, I know where to go to because uh, having a kit, and especially if it looks that good, that clean and that crisp, it's really easy to reuse and then convince, let's say, your stakeholders. Because sometimes we tend to almost disconnect ourselves as, as, as UX designers, where we have that research, we have those workshops, but people get confused of how we get into that end product. And so, you know, simple sketches, simple mockups, hand drawn things, or really quick to do bits which you know can be done from this type of UI kit, which you can then showcase and iterate and collaborate to shape the product to make better experiences. It's really great. And so there's always that benefit of using these type of things. And as per usual, I hope this quick Design Tool Tuesday is beneficial for you. Give a like, subscribe to his channel, share with your friend, give feedback to actual makers of this UI kit because they might improve, they might release version two, who knows. As per usual, I'll see you next time.